What's, What's up, up guys? guys? It's Titan Lifestyle. I'm here with John. John's actually out of the office today. You guys can see him. The audio might be a little off, but he's going to speak up. You know how John does. It's Titan Lifestyle. It's Friday. TGIF. Olympia's next weekend, and the sun is back out. A lot of great topics today. Let's dive right in. John, what do you got? Oh, man. So it's uh, Sorry I'm not in there with you guys. I'm on the road today. But we got a lot of good things going on. Obviously, a lot of good talking points to go on today. Olympia's next weekend. Titan's going to be there in full Force nice. can't wait. Right? Three one four. Oh yeah, it's gonna oh, yeah. it's it's gonna be awesome. Ten by thirty, so we're gonna have thirty like you know, thirty foot of booth, I guess. So at, at that point, so it should be a pretty big booth. Big. That's a big booth for the Olympia, guys. We don't know the Olympia. Uh, an eight by eight is a privilege. So to have a yeah. thirty foot booth is huge. It's gonna be yeah. good. It's gonna be good. You guys gotta come by, oh. hit the iPad, get some shirts. Absolutely, we got a ton of Titan gear giveaway stuff, man a ton and we're gonna have mm. all kinds of people there so it's gonna be awesome all the way around mm. i can't wait i mean it's it's definitely exciting man yeah. and it's gonna be next week so it's already right yeah. here so it's gonna be a big thing and we and we got one of our own rachel daniels the real lois lane's competing too uh she's competing in physique so one of our athletes is competing in the olympia we're not just going to be there with the expo we're also going to be there to support her so it's going to be a great show and we have an athlete competing so I mean, there's going to be all kinds of Titans there. I know everybody's going to be wearing their Titan gear. Make sure you guys, if you come by the booth, wear your Titan gear. If you have Titan gear, wear it. If you don't have it, come by, touch the iPad, enter information. We'll give you a shirt. Then you could put it on and represent the Titan around the Olympia. I want to see everybody in the Olympia that has Titan gear. I want to see bags everywhere. I want to see hats, shirts everywhere. So wear your Titan gear, guys. Wear it, definitely. You know, And if you don't, come out, join us, take a picture with us, hang out, ask us some questions. Get that iPad up and definitely get some Titan gear. We're going to have all kinds of exclusive Titan gear out there, too. So not just T-shirts. Even for you ladies, you're going to have tank tops, leggings, all kinds of free giveaways, you know, that nobody else is going to be doing out there, especially during the pandemic where everybody's real tight. I understand how it is. Yep. But you know what? Titan's going to go all out. We want to make sure everybody gets something. And I uh, want to give away some special giveaways. So it's going to be awesome. And our no alternative shirts are going to be out there. They're going to be a hit. Watch. Oh yeah, I remember at the I remember at the Europa a few years back, those shirts were crazy. I still wear mine today, and I still have a couple fresh ones. I break out the pack every once in a while. So, you guys know there is no other alternative. We are the medical supplier that will be there. So come see us, guys. We're the ones you need to see. We're the ones that do it the right way. We're the ones that do a full blood panel, not just the generic stuff. We do everything the right way here at Titan. There is no other alternative. That's right. That's right. So. You know, we're going to get into the, uh, the show this week. Let's talk about the therapy of the week, we might as well, which is Titan Up. Oh, yeah. So Titan Up, for the, you know, the original uh, Titan Medical Center signature blends. Um, it's got a lot of great vitamins and amino acids that mixes in there. Mm. And basically what it's good for is it was good for weight loss, energy, you know, boosting natural metabolism, processing fats to the liver faster. We want to get a branch chain amino acid in there like leucine to help. Along weight loss, not going to catabolic state if you're going to calorie deficiency or you're on a new nutritional program. You know, so at that point, this was a really good one. It combined a lot of great things like mint, methionine, methionine, methionine choline. Mm. Uh, it had the B complex in there, B12, the one branch chain amino acid, leucine, and L carnitine. So it, it covers a wide array of different things that you might be taking orally that might not be as effective as Titan Up is, because we know by the injectable, you're gonna get a faster transportation rate and a higher absorbency rate with the injectable version with a little insulin needle about that big, which is virtually painless. You know, it's a hit, guys and girls can take it. So, I mean, that's, that's definitely one of our first ones. Yeah, now I like it too. It helps you from being sick. A lot of times people take it for other stuff. It's also yeah. great for your immune system. One a day keeps the doctor with a Titan Complete yeah. and Titan Up. I take one Titan Up and one Titan Complete every day. Uh, it's kept me out of the hospital. It's kept me from g catching a cold with all this stuff. So, um, but the carnitine in the mix is also good for fat burning. There's so much stuff with Titan Complete, um, with Titan Up, guys, and Titan Complete. But Titan Up has so much, guys. It's like it's so close to Hercules. You guys know I'm big on Hercules. Titan Up is just, it's it's right there. I mean, pretty much almost the same thing. Only a couple different ingredients in there, but it does, it does work great. And it's also going to save your stomach. You guys are filling your stomach with these quote-unquote men's or women's one-a-days. And if you guys yeah. get sick, what do you do? You double up on them. So every meal you take a one or two tablets, you're getting a lot of filler. 
So you're getting 10 mm-hmm. tablets of fillers in your stomach all day long. Not only mm-hmm. is it not good for your stomach, it's putting extra volume into your stomach. So if you're someone that's trying to lose weight, you have all those fills in there, it's going to actually interfere with the absorption of the food. So you're getting right. a, a straight quality, a straight quality. It goes right into your system. We don't have to worry about your food. If you take a whole bunch of tablets with your meal, now you have to worry about heartburn. Now you have to worry about is the tablet absorbing right? Is the food absorbing right? It messes everything up, guys. So you're getting 100% of the product with this, except for maybe a little bit of backwater. But that's a lot mm-hmm. better than having a filler where you don't know what that filler is. And also, a lot of companies change their fillers. You guys don't realize that companies will change their fillers and they won't tell you. If they change the ingredient, they change the ingredient, they have to tell you because that's what you prescribe. But they won't tell you if they change their fillers. So if it's a capsule or a tablet, next thing you know, you have a different filler. You don't know what the problem is. Oh, we'll switch your medication. You you should have stayed with that medication, but the fillers, you haven't digested problems. So those fillers are no good, guys. Not good at all. Not good at all. Yeah, man. So you know what you're getting. You know, it's not over the counter. You can't buy this over the counter. Mm. Obviously, it's doctor prescribed, right? So at that point, they're going to get the best bang for their buck that way. Now, Tighten Up's our first in the lineup, right? It was one of our first signature blends. So it's a little bit more inexpensive, let's say, than Tighten Complete. Mm. So you can get the Tighten Up for 180 bucks. It's a 30-shot therapy package. You know, its predecessor or big brother is Titan Complete, right. where you're getting all the branch chains in there and a little bit more as far as percentages on some of the different B complex and stuff like that. But it's a good way to start. If you haven't started with Titan Medical Center, and maybe you want to start, you've been thinking about it, this is actually a good way to get in as far as, you know, getting to see, you know, some of the results that you may get from one of the signature blends. Right. And if you add it, the other ones on top of it, I mean, you're going to get way better uh, expedited results as far as that goes. Right. You know, it's a, good, so. it's a good way to go, guys. I'm telling you, when I started getting rid of the tablets and going with injectables, I noticed a huge difference, with, not only with my midsection, but the way I felt and just that yep. nauseous feeling kind of went away. A lot of times people have uh, a, a lot of older people, too. The older you get, the more medication you have. You have the old guy with the tackle box full of medications. Now, he has he's taking like 70 pills a day and like maybe only 60 of those 10 of those pills are actually like the actual substance. Those fillers will ruin your body, guys, like straight ruin your body, especially oh, with vitamin yeah. C. Guys, you take a vitamin C tablet, that's going to give you a lot of heartburn Injectable vitamin C. You don't have that problem. Dude, you don't, definitely don't want that for sure. I mean, it's, it's, that's what I'm saying. So it's going to get right into the bloodstream faster, quicker. The absorbance is going to be better, not getting broken down the gastro tract not having any of the fillers and all the garbage that comes with those over the counter. So it's just a home run all the way around. Um, it's going to be good. All right. So let's get on to our first one. And we were talking about this a little bit before we got on here was the peewee football coach hits a nine year old player. And there's a video out there. Yeah. I mean, when I first heard about it, I thought he maybe just shoved the kid or maybe got up in his face after seeing the video. I mean, he literally swung closed fists, like basically just punched the kid. Um, yep. the, the way you would in a fight. It wasn't like he shoved him. He punched the kid, and then he walked away. You could hear him mouth and stuff. He was so amped up. He went back, punched the kid again. He walked away. He's kind of amped up. And then he went back and grabbed the kid and, like, shook his helmet and got up in his face. I'm, I'm pretty sure he was cussing at him and doing whatever. But my thing is this, you know, I mean, the guy's already banned. He can't coach anymore. He's having charges, this and that. My thing was, how come no one did anything after he swung and hit the kid the first time? I mean, he literally swung and leaned in and, and laid the kid out. This kid's nine years old. He probably nine. weighs a third of what the guy weighs. I mean, how how much does a nine-year-old kid weigh, 80 pounds? I don't know. But he literally Maybe. just laid the kid out, and then no one did anything. The other coaches didn't step in. Other The parents on the sidelines didn't step in. And not only that, the referees. If you notice, you see the referees in the background just standing there. How come no one did anything? This is crazy. Like, to me, that was the biggest thing out of all of it. I mean, if that would have been someone I knew or if that would have been, like, you know, one of my friends, sons, or daughters, it wouldn't even have been a question. that He would have been rushed immediately, immediately. So, I mean, I'm I'm assuming maybe the – I don't know. Like, was the kid's dad there? Is his dad – was the kid's parents there? Like – that's yeah. crazy. And not only that, the simple fact that no one did anything lets me know that this is like a common occurrence with this coach. If this right. is something that never happened before, they'd be like, oh, my God, what's this? But they're kind of like, oh, there he goes again. And if it's that situation, this guy needs to be out of there, like out of there. That's right. Out of there. Put you know his that- face all over the news. Put his face everywhere. Put his name up there. This guy's a coward. Let everybody know who this guy is. Yeah, man. I mean, 
listen, that's just not right. Obviously, you should be hitting nine-year-olds, especially if you're an adult, right? Yeah. You know, in any circumstance, I don't care how mad you are, especially over a game, a football game, you know? Yeah. You know, I coach, you know, my, my, my son's football as far as that goes. And I don't yell at any of those kids like that, you know? I mean, yeah. the whole point is they get out there, you know? Listen, if they make a mistake, you let them know, hey, listen, this is the mistake you made and all this, you know, but it's not a dire thing, you know? Yeah. If those kids lose the game, you know, I'm not going to freak out on the kids or punch kids or anything like that. And yeah. then I was, you know, nobody, you know, t- taking a stance after it happened. So, you know, yeah. him being able to do this multiple times without being checked by anybody yeah, is, and, is, and, a, is a big one. And the ref, the refs are just literally standing back there. If you see two players fight, the refs immediately, they run over, step in right. between, try to separate them. The coaches run onto the field, step in right. between other players from both teams run right. on the field, try to separate them. And these are all adults. You're yeah. dealing with kids that don't know anybody, and everyone just kind of stood around. That, that really, really pissed me off, seeing nobody yeah. do anything about I, that. Listen, that, that's, a, that's uncalled for. I'm yeah. a father. I know, you know I, I, I'm there. So yeah. at that point, you know, if this is still going on out there, it, I mean, people need to get checked, for sure. I don't yeah. care how good of a coach they are. And then he made some I'm lame apology. Free. Come on now. Like lame, some yeah. lame apology. Shannon Sharp called him out on it. Everybody's calling him out on it, and they should. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I agree. I agree with yeah. you 100%. That's something that we shouldn't let go easily. Yeah. Definitely 100%. Yeah. It's almost like a predatory list. Yeah. If that person don't have a, you know, they should be put on those lists where they shouldn't be able to coach all around the United States. There's people out there that don't even got kids, man. They just coach these kids. They get off on it. They, yeah, they yeah. want experience, you know. They yeah. were somebody back in the day, and they want to relive those, those, those highlights in their head, I guess. You know, I mean, yeah. you were a former athlete. I was a former athlete. You know, I, I still don't project that onto kids, you know. The, the, most, the most I ever dealt with, other than, you know, a coach yelling or when I was that age, because that's about the age I started playing with, is maybe a coach banging his whistle off your helmet because it's so yeah. loud. The coach yeah. gets mad, and, like, if you guys don't know, if you, if you if you have a whistle and you bang it against a hard helmet, it makes, like, a loud yeah. pinging sound on your helmet. Yeah. That's the most my coach ever did. He would, like, you know, yeah. he'd take it and be like, bang, and it'd be, like, a loud ping, or they'll just yell, which that still, you know, it's kind of, you not really have to do that. But that's right. what I was assuming was going to happen. When I saw this guy lay that kid out, I was like, oh, no. I thought it was somewhere around here. I was immediately like, who is this guy? Yeah, <laughs> it was man. like, I mean, this, this it's crazy. crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's bad. That. Um, you know, it's, it's just nuts. I mean, even for like, I, like I said, any group, any age group, even high school and stuff yeah, like that, that's yeah. not, acceptable. It's not, not acceptable at all. But I, don't, so. I don't think this guy would be, I don't think this guy would have the balls to do it to a high school player or even a player his size. I mean, <laughs> this kid's nine years old. He's literally up to his waist and he's hitting him like a grown man. This that's guy, right. no, nah, this guy, I don't know. That's, that's like picking on little girls, too. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, saying and, and the thing is, is, everybody's standing around. I mean, I've only seen one camera angle. No one else filmed this. No, Everybody's worried about getting views and, and, and making sure they get the film and this and that without yeah. stopping this guy from hitting this kid for the right. fourth time. You know, he hit him two or three times. It's like, <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah. Yeah. It's crazy. It's, it's definitely bad. crazy. It's yeah. um, so next one. The, the new snow park, and you sent me this today, so I was yeah. like, man, I got to up because, you know. So yeah. we got a new snow park here in Florida. Uh, you know, get tube outside. They got snow in the side of this igloo. You know, they're doing bonfires mm-hmm. and stuff like that. It's shut down now. Snow Park Ridge, Snow Cat Ridge, excuse me, um, it, it got shut down by Pasco County. Yeah. So uh, they said it was because of building, plumbing, and electrical problems that caused deep concern or safety for the health and welfare of the part- you know the people that are going to go there. So I don't know. I know this. I went there, luckily, before it got closed down. Great experience all the way around. Now, do I think they were cutting some corners in some different ways? Yeah, I, I do. Mm-hmm. I, I didn't think it was you know, for our CDC guidelines and all that stuff because I look at it because of medical. Yeah, you know, yeah. that was a little bit lax and stuff like that. I don't know their building permits or an electrical or anything that was going on as far as that goes. But it, it, it seemed like maybe they could have been a little bit more organized. But, you know, it was a good, good time all the way around, though. I mean, we had a blast. But it, it's it's yeah. weird because do they have, like, they're saying that they're refunding the tickets. So yep. does that mean the, the, sh- the, the park is totally shut down? Is it going to reopen? Are they going to, like, so, make it safe and reopen it again? Because if they're going to refund tickets, I'm assuming it's not going to open back up anytime soon. Well, their whole thing was was that they do have a valid permit through the state of Florida, but Pasco County is not realizing or, or abiding. Mm-hmm. Something's going on as far as that goes to the county. 
Now, what they said was was they are planning on opening if they possibly can. They got their lawyers on it. But, you know, people are flipping out. I mean, yeah. this thing was so it's sold out for like weekends in advance. Like even for me and Sharice, like we we luckily got tickets and it was supposed to like 70 percent rain like a week beforehand. <laughs> yeah. And, it did, you know, the weather just turned out to be Florida like it is out right now. Just, you know, it was yeah. really nice. So we got to take advantage of going to the park. But all these people that booked it in advance, man, they, were, they were really mad. So they went to Facebook, social media. You know how everybody is now. That's the yeah. first place. And uh, so they said, you know what, listen, you know, if, if you want your money back, we'll give you your money back, which is the right thing to do, obviously. And, uh, you know, so that's that's what it is. So hopefully it opens back up because it was a good experience, yeah. especially for people that have not have experienced it. Yeah, it's saying right now on the on the up, I don't know if you can see the screen. It said that there's no timeline for reopening right now. So they don't even have a timeline. So basically it's going to refund people their money and try to figure it out. So I don't know. It, it seemed like it was a lot of money to get that thing going. I mean, yeah. I can only imagine how much time and money it would take to build snow in Florida and have the slope and have a ski lift and all that stuff, and then now just shut it down. So yeah. I, I can't see it open anytime soon if they're going to say there's no timeline for reopening. And they're going to refund tickets, too. So, You know, listen, you yeah. know, I did realize one thing with this place. Now, this place is out in Dade City. If you are a local from the Tampa Bay area, it's about 30 minutes from where you're at. Now, now this is where Screamageddon was held, too, so it's a big... It, and they have like tree hoppers out there, which is zip lining. Mm. Must be the same owner because it's just a big property, and you see all these different things on that big property. Mm. So take that property, you know. So hopefully they do get it open. I think they will. I just don't know how long it's going to be, and that's probably why they don't have the timeline up there because they don't know, and you know, and they're going to have to get everything settled for whatever Pasco County closed them down for violation wise, yeah. and then get reinspected to open back up. So, you know, that could take a couple of weeks for sure. Definitely. Especially yeah. the holidays. We've got Christmas. And Merry Christmas to everybody out there. Happy holidays. We've got yes. to say that. I don't think people have been saying that a lot lately. And, uh, you know, because of COVID and everybody's down, depressed. Or, you know, just, you know, not recognize it because people are telling us not to get together. We're luckily in a state where it's wide open. But right. California and all these other states, man, they're on total lockdown, man. So we, we feel for everybody that's out there, too, as well. Yeah, it so does. Hopefully- it- it doesn't have the Chris. I mean, it still feels like Christmas, but it doesn't have that Christmassy feel like it normally does. Yeah. Uh, I know yeah. we got. I know Amanda. We've got little decorations in the house and tree and stuff. So when I go home, it seems like Christmas a little bit, but um, it just doesn't have that feel. I don't know. Even I mean, you notice they have a tree. I notice they have a big Christmas tree around the corner from the office at the park. So once that's yeah. lit up and it, but but it's never felt like Christmas ever since I came to Florida because I'm used to the snow. So yeah. I can't, uh, Christmas with palm trees and tank tops and catching a tan yeah. on my head is like, is it really Christmas? So I don't know. I'm right there with you, man. You know, 21 years up there growing up, you know, yeah. snow, you know, it's, it's cold outside. You're all inside. You know what I'm saying? That's really a Christmas stuff to me. When I got down here, you know, every year it's been, it's been like a Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> palm trees all the songs, like Let It Snow and The Sleigh and all that. No, there's not, none of that down here. <laughs> You decorate yeah. the palm tree outside, man. Yeah. You know, that, that's I love beautiful. it, though. I wouldn't change it for yeah. anything. I wouldn't change oh, it. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Definitely not. Definitely not. But I want everybody to at least be in the Christmas mood, you know, to, to a little extent, you know, because everybody needs a little help, especially these yeah. days. And everybody definitely needs a smile or some cheer, man. So yeah. if you yeah. see somebody out there, anybody, please just say, you know, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays. Oh, whatever yeah. it is. Happy holidays. Whatever whatever you celebrate, Happy Holidays. It's, it's, just be safe. Yeah. If you guys are traveling, be safe about it. Um, yeah. I know California's yeah. a mess right now, so we're spoiled yeah. in Florida. We're spoiled with the weather. We're spoiled with everything being open. So it's kind of like yeah. we don't even know what's going on unless someone complains to us about it. So that's right. <laughs> it's a I good know. problem to have. Hey, John, did you hear about the um, <laughs> the erection and the depression pills getting getting missed, messed up? So I just you just seen this. <laughs> this company had had uh, erection pills, basically, you know, like Viagra. And they had um, yeah. depression pills, you know, and they mixed them yeah. up. So people were getting Viagra or, I, I shouldn't say Viagra, erection pills. It could have been something different. Yeah, ED medicine. That. So, I mean, these people were depressed. I mean, to me, it's kind of crazy because that kind of would take your depression away. <laughs> yeah, at least they're going to have to you know. As long as they got a partner, man, they're going to be good to go. I mean, like, oh, like, man, they, you know, I'm like, good these days. I, did you change my medication? I'm not depressed anymore. I'm like, hey, well. 
That's crazy. They're talking I mean, about those dopamine levels going up through the roof. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know from a health point of view if people could get messed up, but I'm assuming that if someone doesn't need Viagra or something like that and they have heart problems, then I don't know. I mean, it, well, or yeah, vice versa. They'd be all right. They'd be all right. right. Yeah. The, the, the only problem would be would probably be the depression. The, the depressed people usually yeah, yeah. when that, you're SSRIs, depression medication. Yeah. You usually have to wean yourself off of that. Ah, um, good. So that probably be an issue, but you know, I mean, listen. You can make it up in different ways, you know, with the chemicals yeah. in the brain. If you're having a lot, a lot of sexual, you know, yeah, uh, yeah. adventures there, especially like that. I, I mean, a lot of lawsuits. Can... I see a lawsuit coming on because if I was, if I was so taking any type of medication, I'd have to wean myself off if I'd be immediately looking yeah. for a lawsuit. So that, that, yeah. that's you know that, that's what it is. You know, I mean, well, just mixing up those medications. That's that's a pretty big one. So at yeah. that point, you know, people really want to be. Uh, they want to be stickers about it, you know. There's, there's, uh, there's ambulance chasing lawyers out there that look for things like that, yeah. and uh, that it's no good. So hopefully they've got it all taken care of, all the patients. There, nobody's been hurt or yeah. affected. And, you know, obviously, some people thought out. About hopefully, it. nobody's getting. Um, hopefully, no one developed an addiction off of having to take those depression pills, or, or even, or even a not a not an addiction, but hopefully. Uh, like say, if someone has, if someone needs an erection pill and they're not getting it, yeah. then obviously they're not getting their erections. Oh, no, so it's almost sure. like, I mean, now it's like, okay, for the past month or whatever, I'm supposed to be getting my prescription and you'd be giving me the wrong one. So now it's like, you owe me this and pain and suffering. And then I have this problem. So I think it's going to be a lot of a headache for them. Well, the thing about the, the depression pills is this, let's say you have somebody out there that they're not depressed. When they take those medications like that, that can make them depressed. It's really yeah. messed up. Ah. Really messed up. Yeah. You know, like uh, those, I'm telling you, antidepressants, man, if you don't need them, they don't work good for you at all. Mm. If you need them, you know, they can help with the chemicals in the brain. And some of those drugs, they don't even know how they work exactly in the brain. It's crazy. You, you look at the research, and they've got FDA approvals. And it's just because clinical trials make them feel a certain way, and they go through these different things. But they still don't know the exact way some of them work in the mm. brain, how they control these chemicals in the brain. So it's nuts. So, yeah, so I can see a big lawsuit, you know, some people if it does affect them. Yeah. All it's right. Gonna, it's so, going to get worse and worse. And with the uh, and the vaccines, too. You said something about the vaccines coming in uh, May or Monday? So, Not right, Monday, so, May. So, Monday? No, so... So, all right, so the vaccine, uh, the FDA says they're working, they're gonna, they're definitely gonna authorize this vaccine and they could have, uh, you know, this out by Monday. So mm -hmm. injections could be ready Monday for distribution as far as that goes around the United States. And then at that point, you know, how many they can get out, you know, they were talking about, you know, so many million. It's, it's, it's still not gonna be enough for sure. And then we have other countries that have already, you know, basically took over a, a big amount or quantity of these vaccines already. So. The United States is not getting every vaccine mm. that's made. So that's another thing. How are they going to go about giving them out, though? I mean, it's just going to be like. So they've got basically where they're going to start doing healthcare workers first. They've got lists and then high risk mm. people as far as that goes, hospitals and all that. And then so on and so on from, you know, the, the homes, you know, the old people homes and stuff like that. So they're going to work out high risk down after the care, you know, the healthcare workers. I'm obviously, they got to protect them first. Mm, I'm wondering if it's going to turn into a thing where there's lines of people waiting to get vaccines. That's that's the <laughs> oh for sure. Yeah, the same way with the COVID testing. They're going to have lines for vaccines, and I'm interested they're, to see the demographics as to where these lines for these vaccines are going to be because that's going to be big. Everywhere. So yeah. they've already said every pharmacy is allowed to do them. CVS, mm. Walgreens are already lining up special practitioners just to do this. Pharmacists can give them. So this is going to be a big, big thing everywhere. You're going to be able to walk in pretty much. When they have it available, to get yeah. it. Now, to get it is going to be a whole different story for it to be available. And then who's going to want to take it at that point is going to be another question. You know, they say that with the Pfizer vaccine, and that's the one they're working on right now to get the authorization, it basically, you're going to have to take two shots. Mm. Take the first shot, it's going to be 50% effective. But they're recommending and definitely say not, not to not get the second shot. But the second shot after that will be over 90% effective. Wow, 90, that's big. That's good. But they've already got people in England now because they've already authorized it there. If you have mm. allergies of certain kinds, this is no good. Not to yeah. get so, I wonder if there's going to be anybody else. And other than allergies, or there's going to be in, any time where it doesn't work. Like, I always get confused with these vaccines. Well, like, what if it just doesn't work with one person? 
you're gonna have like maybe five to ten percent that people it doesn't work on. Right. Hmm. You know. So that I think I'm gonna treat I'm gonna treat it like an iOS update, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna wait to see how everybody else happens with their <laughs> how they Smart do man. with their vaccines first, and then I'm gonna, then I'm gonna see what I'm gonna do. Smart man. Smart man. Yeah, yeah. First, you know, I mean. I mean, I've already got COVID, but I've already lost the antibodies, so I'm like up in the air about it. Sure, I know still has the antibodies. Yeah. Like, I'm definitely not who's that. So, See, I mean, know, if, it's, if, it's a, if it's a healthy thing and it's working, and yeah, I'm all for it, but I just, uh, it's too many question marks know. for me. Too many question marks for me right now. Yeah. It's, it's it's real quick. It's real quick. Yeah. It's the best vaccine ever made in American history or the history of man. So, yeah. at that point, we have one that's that quick. We definitely got to look at things that everything's gonna be all right for sure too and you know down the road after a year or six months or whatever we're not turning into mutants or anything bad's happening or zombies yeah or, right yeah. <laughs> Growing um, hair so. on our palms of our hands That's yeah crazy for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> all right so yeah so listen the next thing up was uh if you guys like marvel and stuff like that disney plus has got new series coming out um you know like the Winter Soldier, right? Falcon, the Winter Soldier, the new teachers out for that. Awesome. You know, that's post Captain America after you guys seen that. You know, so it's going to be really cool. I'm really pumped about it. Like a kid at heart with these comic book movies. And yeah. series is with Disney. Yeah, I need a good movie too to watch. I haven't really. Actually, you know what I just watched the other night was Peppermint. That was good. That was good. Yeah, that was that was Peppermint good. was good. Uh, yeah. It was my first for time seeing sure. But yeah, I need, I need a good watch. I might check that out tonight. Mandalorian, dude, Mandalorian, that series is fire. Do not see Mandalorian. 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 Yeah, They've got season one is already done, and they're they're part way, I think three quarters of the way through season two. Mm. It's ridiculous. So if you do like Star Wars in any way, shape, or form, even if you don't like Star Wars, I like the this original, a- the original Star Wars, like VCR tapes when I was a little kid. I used to watch them. Okay. Like, yeah. So you're definitely gonna love this series, though. Okay. You like the old ones. For yeah. sure, 100. percent You're gonna love this yeah. series, Definitely. especially with the bounty. What's that? The bounty hunter. Bounty hunter. Yeah, Boba Fett. So like, everybody has like, so Return of the Jedi when when um when they had Jabba the Hutt. You know Jabba the Hutt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dude, right. And when they were gonna like throw Luke into that pit, into the, the pit with all the, the teeth and the legs and everything. Yeah, yeah. The yeah. sand pit. Yeah. Yes, yeah, the sand pit. So. That character's in there, and it'll come back around in the second right. season, too. There's a lot of different cool things that people are going to see. I think you really love Mandalorian. That's why it's done so well. It's carrying Disney uh, as far as that goes. Like, I even got this little plush thing that's coming in that I'll show you next week. It's going to be awesome for Olympia. Yeah, so, I might uh, check yeah. it out. I might check it out yeah. tonight. need something to watch. Yeah, definitely like, definitely like it. For, ne- shout for, out to Netflix. Yeah. They're having a lot of good movies on Netflix, too. They're, they're bringing up yeah. a lot of good movies. and They realize everybody's home, and they can't go anywhere, so... They're coming out with actually like good movies now where you don't have to actually pay for them. I used to have to like go on to like pay for a movie because Netflix never has any good movies. Now they actually have decent movies on Netflix, so it's good. Yep. And Apple yep. and Apple uh and Disney, all those places have good movies now. You can get movies anywhere now. Anywhere. Probably, man. Pandemic set it up for them. I mean they have a yeah. they have an audience that's just they're they're tuned to the T V, so at that point, yeah. man, the time them trying to really get those services off the ground. Yeah. You know? So also, I want to I want to give a patient shout out to Hulk Squad. Me and Hulk oh, yeah. Squad have been talking back and forth. This guy's a monster. If you look at his pace, this guy's got, I got some big forms. He has some crazy meaty, veiny oh, Hercules, Hercules filled forearms. But uh, me and him have been chatting back and forth. Uh, he was telling me the other day that he he tried it without the Hercules to see if he could test it. He was like, it was no, <laughs> I need my Hercules. I know it's a huge, huge difference. I challenge you guys to do that too. Your Titan products, if you don't think they work and you take them every day, don't take them for a few days. Only if it's something that's, you know, ECA or Hercules. Yeah. If it's a medication yeah. you're prescribed or you're supposed to, take that every day. But if it's something yeah. you use pre-workout, like an ECA or a Hercules, if you really want to yeah. see how well it works, don't take yeah. it for a couple of days, just like Hulk Squad did. He let me know, like, there's been times where I left mine in the car. I don't know if you guys know last week, I was telling you guys, I left mine in the car. And I went inside, and I was training legs halfway through. I was like, I just not feeling it today. I go back in the car. I sit down. I look back in the Tupperware. My little cooler pack sitting right there in the back seat. So I totally yep. forgot it. And that was the reason why I didn't have the workout. So shout out to Hulk Squad. He loves the Hercules. I think he's going to try the MK next. 
But uh, it's a great patient. I always like to give our patients a shout out. Ones that always like to tune in every week and ones that talk to me and I talk to them. You guys are why we're here. So oh, shout squad. out to the whole squad. Man, we'll get the discount too. We'll get we're gonna we're gonna be coming out some awesome Christmas discounts next week too. Yeah. But I'll give them a discount too on the MK yeah. and uh, got the big Irishman out there too. <laughs> If you see Hulk Squad, I don't know if you can see the pictures of him on the screen. This guy's got some monster arm wrestling forearms. <laughs> He's <Yeah>. a monster. <laughs> Hercules. Awesome. Yeah. All right, guys. So, listen, next week, Olympia, come see us. We'll be out there the 17th through the 20th representing big time. A lot of Titans, ton of Titan gear, big giveaways. January 10th. Festival of Speed, Benoit Park, St. Petersburg. We'll see you there. And then we have another event before that, the day of, that I have to fill you guys in on. I just booked it last night. But we'll have more information next week and in the newsletter. Also, the 24th, we're going to be at Festival of Speed in uh, Ritz-Carlton in Orlando again. So I can't wait. And then special tight fleet coming out there. I can't wait, dude. I can't wait. Yeah, it's going to be great, guys. And we'll be right back here next week for Titan Lifestyle every Friday at 2 p.m. Also, check out the Titan Show on Sundays at 11 a.m. Also, yep. check out Titan Talk Tuesdays at 6 p.m. We got everything going on here at Titan. Check out the podcast. And if you're on YouTube, click the bell. Make sure you subscribe so you can be notified when we're doing videos just like this. We're everywhere, Facebook, YouTube, everywhere. Check us out. We love the support. We love having you guys tune in every week. Titan Lifestyle, all day, every day. I am Titan Medical Exclusive. That's right, baby. So, it's been a great week, man. I can't wait. Next week, Drew, it's on, man. So, we'll yeah. be out there. We'll be in use, doing our show. It's going to be awesome. We might have special guests on. We might be interviewing. Who knows what's going to go on Olympia Week? And we have no idea. Oh, yeah. I might, I might be able to, yeah, I might be able to work something out. You guys tune in. There'll be a lot of big-time worldwide fitness celebrities right. in the area. So I'm going to have to coming. snatch one up for the show. Yeah. So you guys stay tuned, man. Make sure you guys tune in to us next week. Tight Lifestyle with Big Drew, 2 p.m. Next week, special location. We'll see you guys there. That's it, guys. Have a great weekend. See you next week. Later, guys. This is Tight Lifestyle.